Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this session, I am going to discuss about the hydrogen energy storage. There are three methods of the hydrogen energy storage. That is, first one is compressor hydrogen gas storage, and the liquefied hydrogen storage, hydrogen storage stored in materials. Okay, this is about the hydrogen energy storage. First, we'll discuss that means uh, what what is meant by the hydrogen storage and what are the uh, it's actually we can store and also what are the difficulties associated with this one. That uh, discussion in this will take that is when compared to the electrical energy, the development of safe, reliable, compact, and cost-effective hydrogen storage technology is one of the most technically challenging barriers to to the widespread use of the hydrogen as a usable form of energy. That is the one of the major difficult associated with this hydrogen energy. To be competitive with the conventional vehicles, hydrogen powered cars must be able to travel more than 450 km between the fields. Then only it is a competitive with the competitive conventional vehicles what presently we are using. This is a challenging goal because hydrogen has a physical characteristics that make it difficult to store in a large quantities without taking a significant amount of space. It requires a large space. Okay, that's why the to store the quantity which is required for this kilometers of the travel, okay, that is a major difficulty. Hydrogen has a very high energy content by weight. By weight, it has a very high energy content, about three times more than gasoline. But it has a very low energy content by volume. Liquid hydrogen is about four times less than gasoline. Means, even though liquid hydrogen, if you use that one, for the one liter of the gasoline consumption, we need the four liters of the hydrogen consumption. Like that, by volume, it will be uh, by the liquid only this much higher, while the gaseous it will be more well known. That will be associated with that. This makes a hydrogen challenge to store. Liquefied hydrogen is a denser than gaseous hydrogen. Okay, this liquid is a denser than the gaseous hydrogen, even though it requires a four times the volume of the than the gasoline, and thus it contains more energy in the given volume. Similar sized liquid hydrogen tank can store more hydrogen than the compressor gas tanks. Compared to the compressor hydrogen gas tanks, the liquefied hydrogen gas tanks have the more energy. But it takes energy to liquefy hydrogen. The, to liquefy the energy is required. However, the tank insulation is required to prevent hydrogen loss, adds to weight, volume and cost of the liquefied hydrogen tanks. Okay, comparison is we have taken for the here with the compressed hydrogen storage and the this liquefied hydrogen storage. First I will take that is a compressed hydrogen gas storage. The hydrogen can be compressed in a container or an underground reservoirs. This is a relatively simple technology, but the energy density and efficiency which is about 65 to 70 percent, both are low. Furthermore, the problems have occurred with the mechanical compression. The mechanical compression during that also, the problems have occurred. However, this is at present the most common form of the hydrogen storage for the transport industry with the hydrogen compression to approximately 350 to 700 bar. The higher pressure is required for this uh, compression storage, but it is a common method that presently it is using in the tr transport industry. The higher the storage pressure, higher the energy density. If the storage pressure, if you improve, the energy density will be higher. However, the energy required for the compression is a major drawback. For the compression also, the energy is required. Here we can see that it is compressed hydrogen storage system. In this one, the tank we can see this one the tank thickness it is a required higher in order to withstand the higher pressure and there the layers are provided the high density polymer liner inside it is used 
and carbon fiber wrapping is used over there. Then later the thermal pressure relief device is used because of the higher pressure the temperature will be higher therefore the thermal pressure relief device is used. The 700 bar on tank setup valve. Okay the tank setup valve is about the 700 bar pressure to withstand that one it should be used. And in tank gas temperature sensor inside there is a gas temperature sensor. Okay the temperature in order to uh, reduce that one to maintain a lower temperature the sensors are used and observed the next method is that liquefied hydrogen storage the hydrogen can be liquefied by pressurizing and cooling at a higher pressure if you cool it then it will become a liquid although the energy density is improved it is still four times less than the conventional petrol even though if you convert it into liquid but the energy density is four times less than the petrol or a gasoline further the keeping the hydrogen liquefied is a very energy intensive as it must be kept below the 20.27 kelvin that is about minus 253 degrees celsius very low temperature is required in order to have the uh, liquid uh, this hydrogen okay liquefied hydrogen and that requires the energy to maintain the lower temperature although additional is the but by the cryogenic method okay the cryogenic technology we can reduce the temperature and we can liquefy and keep liquid hydrogen in a stored tanks and that can be used for the different applications next one is hydrogen stored in materials hydrogen can be stored in the uh, materials in the, by different processes one is that one hydrogen stored at the on the surface of the solids that is called as the adsorption process or we can store within the solids by the absorption process in the adsorption process hydrogen attaches to the surface of the material either as hydrogen molecules or hydrogen atoms but in the absorption process hydrogen molecules dissociate into hydrogen atoms and that are incorporated into the solid lattice framework inside the solid lattice only that solid um, molecules what are their hydrogen molecules those will be dissociated into hydrogen atoms and that will be enters into the solid lattice this method may take may make it possible to store the larger quantity of hydrogen in similar volumes at a low pressure and temperature close to room temperature at close to room temperature only okay we can store in the larger quantities in the materials and here the metal hydrides certain materials absorb the molecules hydrogen such as nanostructural carbons nano carbon materials we can use and clathrate hydrate these are the materials we can use the usually nano materials are used for hydrogen storage by absorbing the hydrogen in these materials, it can be easily transported and stored. You can easily transport and store in the materials. Once required, the hydrogen is removed from the parent material. The energy density is similar to that of the obtained from the liquefied hydrogen. Here, if you remove the hydrogen from the materials, okay, the energy density is similar to that of the liquefied hydrogen. The extra material required to store the hydrogen is a major problem with this technique as it increases extra cost and mass. The material that is not required for the energy but it is required to store the hydrogen and that is the additional material whatever is there its cost as well as the mass will be increased. Carbon based absorption can achieve higher energy densities but it has a higher cost even though less demonstrations. The carbon based storage whatever is the that is has the higher cost that one also the lesser whatever the present demonstrations are used both the metal hydride and carbon based absor absorption use thermal energy thermal energy is required for the storage in the materials hydrogen storage in materials offers great promise but additional research is required to better understand the mechanism of hydrogen storage in the materials under practical operating conditions and to overcome the critical challenge related to it. The furthermore, in all the storage methods, there is a research and also the developments are going on to 
to have the suitable method of the storage the hydrogen storage is one of the major challenge associated with this hydrogen energy <coughs> here the hydrogen storage in the materials you can see by the adsorption method on the material surface the hydrogen atoms or molecules are attached in the absorption material the material will be dissociation to the material lattice and there it can be stored later it can be recovered from it thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment